Okay, it is 2.16 a.m. And we are checking in to the La Quinta in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And we are very tired. Uh, the light's not good enough, but Tarzan is done being in the car. So we'll let you know how the room is. Hi, Matt here. I'm Stacy. And this little guy is our buddy Tarzan. Together, we are the Rays on the Road. The La Quinta Inn and Suites Pigeon Forge is a 2024 TripAdvisor Traveler's Choice Award winner and part of the Wyndham Hotel Network. It was built in 1999 as a Red Roof Inn and Suites as part of that chain's uh, attempt to move its motel-style economy lodging into a more upscale experience. It is centrally located in Pigeon Forge and has 81 rooms which are arranged over five floors. It is a pet-friendly hotel, dogs and cats only, two total, up to 75 pounds per pet. Pet fees are $25 a day up to $75 per stay. Food and water bowls are available upon request. The property has free Wi-Fi, free parking, free coffee and tea in the lobby 24-7. Free hot breakfast buffet each morning from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., which includes a waffle maker. It also has a barbecue grill available for use in its large outdoor patio common area that also has a fireplace. It has a large indoor heated pool and hot tub a 24-hour convenience store located in the lobby, a 24-hour front desk and guest laundry facilities, as well as a fitness center and a business center. Each room has a microwave coffee maker and features Dove brand amenities. All right. Checking in. How'd it go? Place. Yeah. Tarzan, are you ready to go inside? Grumpy boy. Here we are on the fourth floor, uh, located all the way to the, I believe, the north end of the hotel is a window that overlooks as well as the emergency stairwell which is where our room was located uh, it's very quiet we rarely ever heard any sort of banging around or noise uh, the hallways are very stylishly decorated and are very clean beside the elevators on every floor is an ice machine as well as vending machines which is very convenient as you can see every room or at least this room has a desk and a chair so that you can work on stuff as well as a couch a TV flat screen TV air conditioning a window that opens and this one had a king size bed This is the La Quinta in Pigeon Forge. Our room has a couch, a bed. Decent sized TV. Chest of drawers with six drawers. It's old. You can see the paint chipping. There's rust on here and filth. Paint cracking. But it has those nice mirrors that everyone talks about with the lighting. Rust. Better for doing your makeup. I'm not sure if these are designed to look like that or if they're just rusty. But I never do my makeup in a hotel bathroom. I assume in the, this that's just a design. That's the color of that middle. The bathtub. It has a bathtub and it has like a handicap accessible bar. It's very clean. The tub it seems to be very clean. It has those very annoying curtains that are mesh on the top, so water gets all over the bathroom when you shower, though. Yes. But it's 
ceramic tile floor here. And then outside of the restroom. I see there's like water coming from somewhere here. I can't figure out where it's coming from. Yeah, probably the refrigerator. So outside of the restroom, there's a small kitchenette area with a, it's like a dorm refrigerator. Oh, that's my cup. A Mr. Coffee, one of those pod things. And then a small microwave. Let's see if the microwave is clean. Ooh. Yeah, it's very clean. That's nice. And so this room has ceramic tile in the entryway. And then this very large, it's like three in the morning, I don't look great. A very large full-size mirror that opens up into the closet. So nice iron board, iron standard stuff. Oh, maybe a Bible, that's nice. And then here is the main part of the room, two lamps. It's very clean in here, but the furniture seems to be a little run down. Place for the luggage, we have ours on the bed now. So we have a king size room, because Matt's very tall, we always get king size beds. Um, some nice Smoky Mountain themed artwork. I think we have a bear, a little waterfall, a raccoon, and I don't know, that's like a house, or maybe that's the mill at Kate's Cove, I'm not sure. Uh, headboard, vinyl headboard. I hope that's vinyl. I hate when hotels have fabric headboards. Oh, it's vinyl, thankfully. Uh, pretty good size TV. Matt, what size TV is that? I don't know, 40 inch. Turn it on, see if it has the, like, internet stuff. A desk. Standard AC, which we've turned on already, and it's pretty cool. Our room looks out onto where the Courtyard Marriott is in the brick and spoon, which we wanted to try. We may try that on this trip. We've seen some other reviews of it. The hotel, the parking, one thing I'll say, the parking spaces were very small. I was exactly in the middle of the space and it was still very tight. Uh, office chair. So this is, oh, here's some more artwork. Does this couch float out to a sofa? Bed, yeah. yeah, so or yeah, I guess it is the sofa fold out to a bed. And then it has kind of the little TV tray table there. It's dark in here. You can probably tell that from the video. We have all the lamps turned on and it's still pretty dark. You keep this on your person. What is this, my key? I definitely will lose this in the next three days. So Alright, so here we'll come back in the morning, we'll show you breakfast. Maybe after we've tried out the shower and let you know what we thought of the mattress too. I haven't sat on it just yet, but we'll see. Tarzan's making his way around. All right, see you in the morning. Bye. So here's a nice feature. This was beside the bed. You can place this on your pillow and have your linens changed every day. Otherwise, every three days. We don't typically have maid service while we're in a hotel because of our dog. But that's nice. What I have learned by sitting on this bed is it is absurdly tall. It may not look that way, but for reference, Matthew is six foot four. Walk forward to the bed so we can have like a frame of reference for how tall it is. So it comes up to Matt's waist, and he's six foot four. You want to do a quick review of the popcorn we've been you were trying out? What flavor are you having? It's good. What flavor is it? Say it. Tabasco. What do you it's think? Hot. It's got flavor. It's got flavor. It tastes just like you're drinking a Tabasco. It actually is very hot. I took like one little bite. It's much too spicy for me. Poor blind Joe is walking around trying to get his bearings.
While we're in the restroom, I wanted to show one thing that has been really handy about this very cool bathroom is these shelves. Usually hotels don't have very large shelves, but these have shelves large enough that you can put the stuff that you actually use on them without making a mess. So that's been nice. Here is another look at the stylish, clean hallways as we head toward the elevator, which is centrally located. That's another uh, negative to this place is that there's only one elevator for the entire property, and that includes the employees. So it does get quite busy during the day at peak times and if it was very full. Here is a look at the guest laundry facility that's open 24 hours a day. They have a pair of washers and a pair of dryers. It's pretty convenient, as well as every floor has a Pepsi and a Coke machine and an ice maker. Now here is the, uh, the indoor pool area. As you can see, it's quite large for a property this size with only 81 rooms. It's very, very large. I've stayed in much larger properties that do not have such a large pool and as you can see they do have the little crane in case you have an impairment of some sort or a disability and it it is a step in and it is graded i believe it goes up to four and a half feet or five feet maybe uh, and here is the hot tub and uh Again, the pool is in the hot tub is indoors. It's heated. Uh, they do have patio area surrounding the indoor pool area. And they do have a lot of little uh, tables and chairs, so you could have a little picnic in here if you wanted to. It's very clean and uh, very beautiful with the light coming in here throughout the day. Uh, and it seemed very clean. I didn't try the pool when I was here, but I would not hesitate to. It didn't look like there was an issue with it at all. As we head towards this side of the outdoor patio area, you can see the tables and chairs that you can use to, you know, have a little meeting or whatever, maybe play a game or something. If your kids wanted to, outside there's tables and chairs in the patio area as well as a fireplace and a barbecue grill that you can use uh, while you stay here. So that's pretty cool and pretty handy. Not all properties of this price range and this size have such an amenity. Now as we head back in, you'll see to the right they have a couple of bathrooms there. If you need to change or use the bathroom, you don't have to go all the way back up to your room. And there is the coffee and tea area that's open 24 hours a day. They stock it with freshly made coffee and hot water for your tea. As you can see, the fireplace here in the lobby uh, is very beautiful. And here is the breakfast area. Uh, breakfast is 7 until 10. Unfortunately, I didn't get to record it before it closed. But I'll uh, put some pictures, I believe, in at the front of the video for you so you can get a view. I uh, usually have a couple of different hot options, eggs and meats, and uh, make your own waffle area. It does get pretty crowded in there. And so I will mention a couple of issues we had when we were staying here. As you can see, the water in the floor, our fridge decided to not work, and so we had to get another uh, new fridge installed. Um, as well as there was some kind of, I don't know what it was, some kind of dirty bag that was frozen inside of our uh refrigerator and uh, the carpet had a few what looked like cigarette burns but it's a uh, smoke-free hotel so i'm not sure where they came from but again we had to look long and hard for these issues and the staff were all wonderful in handling these issues uh, we would definitely stay here again we really like it it's a pet friendly hotel in the area and it's a very good option it's really uh pretty clean and pretty convenient and usually reasonably priced and the staff here is amazing they're very friendly uh, so we would not hesitate to stay here again we'd recommend it to anybody especially if you have a pet there's very very few uh, good options in the area for pet friendly hotels that's it guys thanks for watching and now the bonus content uh watch some footage of tarzan if you want uh, if not thank you for watching and uh like the video if you liked it if not uh or if you did leave us a comment let us know what's on your mind or if you liked it or if you didn't and uh 
If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, uh, it really helps push out our videos into the algorithm. And I got him a big old Hershey kiss this time. He seems to like it. I figured he would be going after the rope end, but he seems to like the actual Hershey kiss end. Yeah, see, this will be our sub channel. Will be like the Matt and Tartar, the Matt and Tartar channel. Tarzan. Tartar. He's in his own world over there now. I'm glad he's wanting toys because like sometimes he just acts like somebody's on death's door just don't care about nothing. So I'm glad he's feeling better, you know. He ain't even making it squeak. He's just sitting there trying to eat it. See, it's a Hershey Kiss, and it's got a squeaker in it, and it's also got like the crackle stuff in it. Oh, that's like all the stuff he likes. It's yeah, like yeah, soft yeah. And and then the ro the rope is like the the paper that sticks out of the Hershey Kiss. Yeah. The soft squeak and crackles is like pretty favorite. Remember we used to take our bottles off. Yeah. Did they just say please open up? What are you eating? Smoothie mints. Where in the world did we get smoothie mints? Oh, smoky kitchen. Hmm. They're so good. I don't remember buying them. This little sprinkle things? Oh. Yeah, see, it says Hershey Kisses on the thing. Man, have you ever seen a dog having so much fun? He just can't get through it yet, though. But yet he got through that one last night that was like an indestructible fiber. This is here from like where the scenes are and stuff on the toys, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's defluffed it now. You know we were here this weekend last year? Mm-mm. Let me tell you the lodge. Hmm. Probably me and her in the car the next Well, we tried to stay there this time. Why didn't we? They wouldn't give us a right. Mm. 
He'll like pick a piece of fluff out and it'll be like stuck on his nose and he'll sneeze. He found a squeaker. <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm, tartar. I was from strong this on chicken strip, corn on the cob, banana, roll. And more importantly, in the next 15 minutes, you're going to learn more about American history than you probably have ever learned. Certainly more than you've ever learned. Tarzan, do you like radio. your toy? And mostly he loves his toy. We're going to start by using as a foil a reprobate who is a political reporter in Washington, D.C., who appeared on MSNBC. But we all go to get facts and information, don't we? And I want to deal with this because this is a frontal assault on Christianity. We've had a frontal assault Carter. on Jews and Jews. For the hey, buddy, you like your toy? Country, the 
Fuck, leave me alone. You filming it? Yeah. Yeah, we need some like stuff for the intro. But now they're pushing this idea of Christian nationalism. Which they're trying to link up with the Klan and things of that Yeah, this sort. is that thing where I told you they're like, country, these they people believe their, their rights come they from lie, God. And they try and preach the radical left agenda. How about we do a little bit of history tonight and straighten things out? So this is... <laughs> oh, Tarter, you're funny. He's doing a lot. <laughs> he's got the squeaker out now. He's just doing death. Okay. Good old Tartar. The best thing. Yeah, get some of those cheese. Tartar. Hi, Oh, close, extreme close-up of Tartar. This is an 8K, 8K cheese. Unfortunately, the engine bolts to that, though.
Thank you.